Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I was doing all that craziness because this is the third time I just had to film this video. <laughs> like, what? Ah! Oh, the life of Christina, please. One Direction. Yeah, okay. But, um, so yes, yeah, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in forever. Well, it seems like I talked to you guys three times. Third time's a charm, right? But yeah, so this is going to be a March Favorites video. I know we're in April 7th already, so, you know, we're just going to get right into it because I don't want it to be super long and I don't want any problems. I do have a lot to show, so we're just going to get into this. So, I'm going to start with the Tresemme Hairspray. This is the Tresemme Mega Firm Control Hairspray, number 5. If I get the whole thing. It's kind of crooked. Okay. I have this in my hair right now. My hair is not crunchy. It's not hard. It's not anything. And it keeps my wavy curliness in place looking good. Um, I've had this hair like this for the past two hours. So it's kind of falling. But I like it when it looks like this. It's not like super uniform curls. It's not like tight ringlets it's like loose and wavy and pretty I like this if you want a tutorial on how I get my hair to look like this so yeah definitely let me know give this video a thumbs up so okay my phone is dying it's on 14 percent no bueno and I need to get ready for work I'm ready in my pants I just got changed my shirt um okay so next I'm going to foundation there's two foundations that I've been loving for the month of March. First one is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. I'm going to be doing a review slash demo on this. I don't know when. Hopefully soon. Probably it'll be the next video that's up. Probably Thursday it'll be up. I'll do the review slash demo on this. So this is in 310 Sun Beige. That's my shade. Um, when I went to CVS, they didn't have, like, my shade. Those shades were, like, too light for me. Um, and some were a little bit too dark. I couldn't find the in-between, and I didn't want to, like, as a drugstore, this is, like, I'm not too sure. I wasn't really looking at prices, but I know this is a bit more expensive at CVS than it is at Target. At Target, this is $5.99, so 6 bucks, or $6.99, 7 bucks, something like that. But, um, so, yeah, I picked this up. At Target and they had this one that fits me the best this is the best one that I found for my complexion so if you're like me you're a mixed girl you're black and white and Spanish like you know you're mixed and you're on the light side of being mixed you're not too dark not too light you're in the middle if you're like light but not too late you're not dark so you know you know what I mean if you're mixed and you have the mixed complexion I would recommend you getting sun beige certain places don't have that wide of a color selection but I would go to Target and just check all your drugstores around you cuz I guess some places have more color range than most places so I feel like that one fits me the best and that foundation is my new holy grail love it can't go with that and once I run out I'm definitely picking up another one I might even get another one just to have as a backup and don't even open it and then next is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is in D4 Classic Tan. This one is too dark. Like, can you see the difference between these two? Like, look how dark this one is compared to this one. Um, I got this back in January, I want to say. January, February. Because I ran out of my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation which is also in classic tan so I picked this one up in the same shade cause I'm like okay this one fits me ooh I just keep dropping everything but uh, cause the covergirl one it's like a nice dark cool tone I think yeah this one's more cool toned and this one's more warm toned so I put this on and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like my neck is white compared to my face my face looks black like, not black, okay, that sounds racist, but I'm black, so it's okay, I can say that. But no, my face looks so tan. It was like, dang, I've fake baked, sat in a tan bed, got a spray tan, and sat out in the sun. Compared to my neck. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, 
you don't match so ooh, no but I got another one a co another covergirl one to mix with this to make it my perfect shade so I don't look discolored and have issues with my face I have like four foundations so that's why I heard the clink 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 in there so yeah um that's that next um what am I gonna talk about next I have like all my favorites scattered here Next is the NYX Shine Killer. Love this. If you are oily, definitely get the Shine Killer. It'll knock out those giant grease balls and make you look beautiful and matte all day long. Um, yeah, this is a professional potion to eliminate the look of oil and shine so face stays matte and fresh all day long. Use as a base, wear it under makeup, alone, or over makeup. That's what I meant. I don't know why I say or over makeup. But yeah, so I really like this. It comes in this tube. I just took the cap off. And it's like a silicone -y base. A little goes a long way with this product. I rub it in my two fingers and I put it where I get greasy the most. Which is it's silicone base and it's so smooth after you blend it into your skin. So I put it on my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's bow area, my chin, and right here on my cheeks in these areas where my pores are um because that's where I get greasy the most and that's where I have to blot the most especially my nose my nose is the most greasiest part of me on my face so, so this really helps get rid of and eliminate shine like I wear this under makeup sometimes I even wear this alone by itself and just walk out the door when I don't feel like putting on makeup that day I'll just put a primer on and walk out the door because that's how amazing it is and it like really makes the skin look smooth and baby butt she wanna pinch your cheeks um so yeah I would definitely I love that that wasn't too expensive all my stuff I get from Target cause I work there so why do I need to go to CVS anymore and it's cheaper at Target like or Walmart I don't shop at Walmart but um yeah okay next is these Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. This is a travel size one. It comes with seven. I do have a bigger one, but this one's usually in my purse when I go to school or something or work. I keep this in there. Um, yeah, these are the Neutrogena Makeup Removal Cleansing Towelettes. Ultra Soft Cloth, Gentle Dissolvable Trace of Makeup, Even Waterproof Mascara. And I've seen, like, when I'm on YouTube videos watching beauty gurus, and I see the Neutrogena commercials, I'm like... I keep running out of my e.l.f. ones. I use them so much, and they're $3, and I run out so quick. And I need, like, three of them just to take my eye makeup off. So, I decided to stop being a little cheapo and, like, get the real kind instead of e.l.f. And all I need is one of these. One swipe. Eye makeup is, like, gone. I need another I need to use the, other, the end of it or the back side to do my other eye and my brows it takes one sheet takes off my brows and my eyeshadow my, my eye makeup which is amazing instead of using three for your eye makeup like it's ridiculous because I, I used to run through the elf makeup wipes like it was nobody's business it was bad because i would have to use three of them just for my eye makeup um and my mascara because i used to wear waterproof but these are amazing it leaves the skin it doesn't like dry out your skin like certain makeup wipes when you put them on it kind of like dries your skin and like the chemicals and stuff that are in them like the like the soapiness that's in them and these don't burn your eyes they are phenomenal I would definitely recommend them yep and one easy step swipe 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 you're gone to go and then you can just clean your face and I use a Cetaphil cleanser to clean my face which will be in my April favorite because I love that stuff Okay, so then next, I don't have too many favorites. That's basically just of all my stuff. Except these two mascaras that I've been loving. These are the last, no, there's one more item. But yeah, so I love these two mascaras. This one is the um, Wet n Wild Mega Impact Mascara. Um, I got this for Christmas. I have another one of these, a backup, so. Yeah, these are the Mega Impact by Wet n Wild orange packaging it's coming kind, of kind of like hot pink kind of whatever I love that like do you see my eyelashes probably not because they're like deflated 
you see my bottom lashes? They look gorge. Normally, my lashes are so small, and when I put bottom mascara on, it doesn't do anything. Ever since I started using this, I feel like my lashes are like baba voom in your face gorgeness. Like, what? <laughs> these words. So, yeah. Love these two together. I don't even curl my lashes anymore. And then the last but not least thing is this LA Girl Pro Conceal. It is a concealer, and it's in Warm Honey. This is a little too dark, but I use it to conceal on top of my brow, under my brow. So I can, like, fill them in, and, like, that's how I shape my brows. That's why my brow looks so gorgeous. This one is a little, don't pay him no mind, because he's the dysfunctional child. But, yeah, so. And I like to, because it's so thick, and it gets rid of my pimples, hides them, some of them. But yeah, so that is it for my favorites video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and sorry I've been MIA for like a month. But stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.